Hello and how's it going everyone? It is Skullzy here with the latest Bethesda news, rumors, and speculation, and today we're going to be hitting that speculation salt. Yay, get excited! You have a reason to abuse speculation salt because of today's video. You don't need a doctor's note, you don't need a, a, a parent or guardian or lich lord slip or anything like that because you have Skullzy permission to do all that speculation salt today because we're going to be talking about the Elder Scrolls 6 and instead of doing like one of those videos, everything there is to know about the Elder Scrolls 6, which is basically nothing at this point in time, I'm going to be bringing you up to speed with when we should expect to hear more actual confirmed and concrete information about the Elder Scrolls 6 next, because with all this stuff going on, all these inside sources, all these different insiders saying Starfield will definitely be at E3 this year, and with the proven track record that Todd Howard and friends always want to release a game as close to its actual big reveal and, and showcase as possible, I don't know why I do strange gestures, what's happening, I'm being attacked! Since we all know Todd Howard and friends want to actually release a game as close to the big showcase as possible. That means if Starfield is at E3 this year, which apparently it is, judging by all the inside sources, that means it's almost certainly going to be released this year as well. And on top of that, Starfield got its official copyright year as of 2021, and based upon a lot of other Bethesda Game Studios games, the actual copyright year is also the year release. I've broken this all down in previous videos, but what I want to talk about and speculate on in today's video is about when we should expect to hear about the Elder Scrolls 6 next, because yes, that is speculation. None of this is really confirmed. The only confirmed stuff about the Elder Scrolls 6 is that it's in development and that we got this teaser trailer in, in 2018 and beyond that nothing else is confirmed there's been a bunch of supposed teases about Hammerfell and stuff but all that is heavy on that speculative skooma salt which is a very rare combination of skooma even rarer than that red red water red whatever red skooma red burr, burr. but the point is if Starfield is going to be shown off this year and most likely and certainly released this year when should we expect to hear about Tez 6 next because as Bethesda has said before and specifically Pete Hines the order they showed the game trailers at E3 2028. <laughs> At E3 2018 was the order the games are going to be released in, meaning Fallout 76, Starfield, and now the Elder Scrolls 6. So after Starfield is released, all hands are on deck for the Elder Scrolls 6, and that means that it, it could be any time in that Bethesda news void about when we should expect to hear about this game, because we all know how quiet Bethesda Game Studios is. We all know how Todd Howard goes under his desk with his Elder Scrolls notebook and doesn't share any of his in, in, inf information with the class, but we all know at the same time the game is coming soon, and generally it's like four to five years between games before, like, we'll get another one. Sometimes it's a little less, but it's usually like a big chunk of time between one game and another for Bethesda Game Studios. Even longer if you're Starfield, who, who knows how long that's, that game's been in development for, like 57 years! The Elder Scrolls 6 too. Apparently this game's been in development for longer than some people may realize, according to some inside sources, and with all that in mind, when will we actually hear about this game? Will it be a long, another chamber of, of e emotional silence in which we hear nothing about it? Or maybe will we get another teaser at E3 2021 after the Starfield Showcase? On that note, real quick, I don't believe that's gonna happen. I don't believe we're going to get any Elder Scrolls 6 stuff this year after Starfield, and the main good reason for that is because Starfield is going to be the focus of Bethesda Game Studios, and it's their first new IP in over 25 years, so they have a lot of stuff to talk about. They have to set the stage and make sure the hype is focused on Starfield as much as possible, but at the same time, I wasn't expecting a Starfield or Elder Scrolls 6 trailer back at E3 2018. Maybe a Starfield one that the Elder Scrolls 6 trailer threw everyone off and it was a huge surprise, so who knows what's going to happen. And we have another anomaly here, which is the Microsoft partnership. Yes, the majority of the Bethesda E3 2021 showcase was probably already planned out before Microsoft was involved with, with the partnership and everything, but no doubt Microsoft is partnered with Bethesda now and probably will be paying for a certain portion of this E3 digital showcase anyway, so maybe they're going to want Bethesda to show certain stuff, as my cat's yelling in the background, telling me what to talk about. Don't tell me what to talk about. We don't know anything about Wolfenstein 76. Stop making things up. I love you, Pompey. You're a good boy. But to be honest, and to stop this, this speculation rambling for a sec, I'll go ahead and tell you when I think we will hear about the Elder Scrolls 6 next. Yes, it's possible Microsoft may may rush Bethesda to do things to, to talk about games and to release them sooner, or at least market them sooner, but judging by Microsoft's statements, they've said that they're not going to do that. They're going to let Bethesda continue to do what they do, so the only thing Microsoft can do here is give them more money, more funding, more access to cutting-edge Microsoft technology and AI and just stuff like that. Basically, give them more stuff to do what they do 
do only better. But if that's the case, is Bethesda going to use these assets to make their game development process lessened, but still be just as much quality, if not more? Or are they going to use these assets to continue to take as, as much time as they want with games, only make the games that much more substantial? Either way, I think is a good thing, because if the games are as much as we would expect from them, or better in terms of next-gen and stuff, but can come out sooner, that's good, right? But at the same time, if they still take just as long, but are like five times as good, five times as massive, with five times, 16 times the detail and the gameplay mechanics, and Fallout 76 times the single player, whatever things I can say. If you get what I'm saying here, either way, it could be a good thing, and to be honest, either one of these things is going to be what's, what's going to happen, because Microsoft isn't going to force Bethesda to do something negative. That's not a possibility, unless they're straight up lying by saying they're not going to force Bethesda to do things they wouldn't do. So that leaves one of two things like I just said. Either Bethesda is going to use these assets to put games out quicker, or they're going to use these assets to just make their games even better. E either way, we win. So what does this mean for the Elder Scrolls 6? Well, to be honest, we should just expect to hear it the normal time we would expect to hear about the Bethesda Game Studios game. Because knowing them, knowing Todd Howard and friends, they like to take their time, which is good most of the time. So I'd say we might not hear about the Elder Scrolls 6 for another three to four years or so. However, maybe in two years we'll get some kind of trailer or something. It all just depends on what Starfield is and how much content they're actually going to provide for Starfield in, in terms of like future DLC and expansions and just ongoing support. The best bet is within four to five years, but we won't won't really know more or we won't really know the low end of when we should expect to hear about the Elder Scrolls 6 until Starfield this E3. If we know the game is coming out this year and if you know about like this the general aesthetic the game will have and the support it will have in terms of future DLC and stuff, then we can kind of estimate when we should expect to hear about the Elder Scrolls 6 next. But as, as of right now, I would say just, just put the Elder Scrolls 6 off your radar until like 2024. Maybe 2023 if we roll a bunch of D20s and we're super lucky, but it's always better to expect to be disappointed so to speak than to set yourself up for something that you're expecting to happen and then only be really disappointed. Either way, before my cat goes even crazier for some reason in the background because it must be skooma time, I'm going to go ahead and end today's video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn notifications on. A huge thank you and much appreciation to the following amazing people for going above and beyond to support the channel and bring you content like this. If you want to get a permanent future video shout out in every single one of my videos from this point forward, you can support the channel over on Coffee, Patreon, or here on YouTube as an exclusive channel member. You become a Skullzy VIP over on the Skullzy Discord server and you get a bunch of other awesome awards. We'll be updating this list at the end of this next week, so if you want to get added to this list before I update it again in like a month or so, now is your chance to do so. Links for all this and more are down in the description below, and as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time. How much skooma is Skullzy on? You don't want to know. So many skoomas. I want to fix my computer. I put too much skooma in it.